Annie. I'm Dr. Grace Porter. I'll be your psychiatrist while you're here. Right, well, first things first. My plan is to meet with you at this time every day for at least two hours, but we can go longer if you want. Annie, I understand that you don't want to be here, but if you work with me, this will go much faster. You know what would be even better? What would be better? If I could just go home! Annie. I mean, I was just taken here against my own will. Wait a minute. That's kidnapping! You kidnapped me! It's not kidnapping. Both the school and your father have shown concern for you and your mental state. But they didn't give me a choice. They just sent me here thinking that I would just forget my friends. Annie, that's not the reason. Then what's the reason? Well, according to this, your friends told you to punch Brittany Bandsman in the face because she kept calling you crazy bookworm. And they also told you that it was okay for you to stand up in the middle of math class and call your teacher a stupid demon spawn? It's because it was true. Annie, don't you see that this isn't normal behavior? Your father and the school want what's best for you. How is this what's best for me? I understand that you think being here is a punishment, but being here is your best option. <sighs> we'll have you for a session tomorrow morning. For now, you can go back to your room. Whatever. <sighs> Ow. So, how'd it go? Horribly. She says I can't leave. Really? That's horrible. Mm -hmm. The best part is that apparently my dad's okay with this. Oh my gosh, it sucks. Yeah, he probably just did it to get rid of me. Why don't we have a girls' night? I told you I can't leave. So, we'll do it here. Oh yeah, because a girls' night in a psych ward sounds so much fun. Huh? We can make it fun. Just trust us. Ha! Go fish! I know you have a queen in there. And how do you know that? I... I just know, alright? Now fork it over. You're so wrong! Just... Maisie, pick up a card. It's my turn to go anyways. Fine. Told you so. I'm just wish I wasn't here. I mean, it can't be all that bad. We're gonna be here with you all the time. Yeah, I guess you're right. I just wish I could have my phone or my books and Wait, I. You can't have books. Well, I can have books, but like all the books here are like old and boring and uh, no old and boring. Like I don't want to read that. Well, can't you just ask for different books? Uh, I, I guess, but Doctor Porter will find some. Like, stupid reason I can't have books because it ruins my mental health. I mean, it's still worth asking. You don't really know what she's going to say. I guess I'll ask her. But aside from that, Sage, you got any kings? <laughs> and another book for me, ladies. I'm killing it. How is it we're so bad at this? I used to go fishing all the time. Yeah, yeah and I could literally turn into a fish if need be. Maybe then I could have sushi. Good <laughs> <laughs> morning, Miss Cross. Good morning. How did you sleep last night? I didn't. Do you usually have trouble sleeping? No, because I usually read before bed. Well, we have books you can read. Yeah, I know. I just choose not to read them. Oh. Why is that? Because they're boring. I want young adult books. Any examples? <laughs> Actually, yes. My favorite book is The Maze Games. It's about a girl who gets thrown into the maze and like four people from each faction get thrown into the maze and they're all like 16 years old. And so Maisie, the main character, she gets thrown into the maze and she like overrides the system and saves her sister. Interesting. Um, any others? 
Yeah, my other favorite is Outcast. It's about a girl named Sage, and she can turn into, like, any animal she wants, and she has to keep it a secret because the people in her kingdom can only turn into one animal, and she can turn into, like, all the animals. Oh, uh, well, I see. I'll think about it. For now, let's just talk about you. Okay, what do you want to know? Uh, tell me when you met your friends. My friends? I thought this was about me! Annie. Okay, my two best friends are Maisie and Sage. How did you meet them? I met them at the library. I was reading a book and they came up to me and started asking questions and we became like best friends. And how long have you known them? Since before high school. Do they go to your school? No, they don't. Sage doesn't go to school and Maisie goes to Faction 6 High School. Where? Faction 6 High School. She's stuck in, fa stuck in Faction 6 so she can't really leave so she just goes to school there. Alright, um, since they don't go to your school, where do you usually hang out? My house. Almost always my house. Sage doesn't have a house, and Maisie doesn't want me and Sage going to Faction 6 because she's too afraid that we'll get stuck there for forever. We'll have to continue this tomorrow. But wait, what about my books? I said I'll consider it. For now, you're free to return to your room. she say? Say about what? About you having books for her. She said, and I quote, oh, consider it. Well, that's better than a no, right? Yeah, I guess, but she really didn't seem like she was considering it. Yet. What do you mean? I don't know. She just seemed like she was distracted by something else. Psychiatrists are weird. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're going to have to wait until tomorrow for the answer to that. So, in the meantime, I believe a rematch is in order. Oh, yes. I would love to kick your butts again. Oh, As yeah. If. You're not going to do that. Are those my books? Yes, they are. Wait, so does that mean I get to keep them while I'm here? Well, if I'm correct in my theory, you won't be here much longer. What does that mean? I spent all night reading these. Really? What did you think? I think I understand you and your condition. My condition? What does that mean? I think your condition is that these friends, Sage and Maisie, they're imaginary friends that your brain created. No, no, Miss Sage and Maisie are real. I think you based them off the characters in your books because you like those characters more than you liked real people and you- Shut up, shut up! I'm sorry, but this is the truth. Sage and Maisie were never real. No, shut up, you're wrong, shut up! <laughs> Have you been in my head this whole entire time? Yes. Why would you... Why would I do this to myself? Because you were lonely and you were desperate to have friends. And when nobody wanted to be your friend in real life, you turned to reading. When you read about us, you wished we were real. And your brain told you that we were real. So if you weren't real, why didn't you guys just tell me? You wanted to believe we were real, and because we were in your head, you wouldn't tell yourself we weren't real. So what happens now? It's whatever you want. If you want us to stay, then we will. If you want us to go, then we'll go. But in the end, it's your decision. I love you guys. And we love you too. And no matter what, we're here for you.